Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a watch launched back in 2007 along with the current generation 5015. This is the Blancpain 50 Fathoms flying tourbillon. Timepiece reference uh, 5025. It is a spectacular 45 millimeters in red gold, measuring 15.1 millimeters thick, 50.7 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and 23 millimeters between the lugs. You can see that the strap is fixed to the case using screw fixed bars, so quite a bit more secure than spring bars. This is already a good start. Talking about the fit of this watch, I gave you the bare measurements. At 45 millimeters, it is large, but you'll find that on the wrist, it's a little bit more accommodating than the bare measurement suggests. Being just over 50 millimeters from lug to lug, it actually wears well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You can see from a distance in proportion, it's not bad. The watch is designed to look big. Bold and gold is the style right here. That said, the timepiece does sit so well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist that I would say you could probably wear this watch on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference and still feel like the fit was really well matched. It is not too thick for a 300 meter rotating bezel automatic winding eight day tourbillon. Just over 15 millimeters is quite admirable and it will fit underneath a jacket cuff. We talked about the lug fixture, the screws and bars. Let's talk about the strap. The strap is sailcloth. It's bolstered to give it some thickness. It is extremely tough material, a super coarse and durable textile. It's long lasting. On the underside, you can see that the strap has been lined with rubber so that coarse material doesn't aggress against your skin. We have a twin trigger release, double folding clasp, all of rose gold. This is here to prevent accidental droppage of your large and expensive sports watch while you are donning or removing at bedside. You can see the twin triggers, in short, cannot pop open accidentally due to inertia or sudden changes of direction. So this is a very secure clasp. And you can see that the clasp itself is nicely made all of high polish. And so is the case. The case is nicely sculpted, all polished. You can see that Blancpain changes direction relative to some of the other majors in the dive watch category, including Audemars Piguet, Rolex, and Omega. All of them feature lugs that are blended into the case band here. Blancpain likes to step out its lugs on the modern 50 Fathoms watches. The case itself has a nice little tumble home. And you can see the name of the brand on the side. All of this is hand polished. You have a big crown, and I do mean a big crown in the 1950s sense, and that it is a little bit oversized, but it also has crown guards, bringing it up to date as a modern sports watch. The bezel, let's get a little bit closer so you can hear it. It is a 120 click diving bezel. It is fully loomed, so there is a cambered sapphire cap over the bezel. This is something that's been fairly common on the 50 Fathoms family since the 50th anniversary watch back in 2003. It creates a richer appearance, lustrous, glossy, bottomless, and because of the scratch resistance that sapphire affords even more than ceramic, you can loom the entire bezel without worrying about the loom flaking off. 300 meters water resistant, yes I know 300 meters and 1000 feet are not exactly equivalent, but press the I believe button. We have applique rose gold tri-arabic numerals 3, 6, and 9, rose gold indices, applique again, a black dial base, we have a power reserve indicator down at 6 o'clock, 8 days of power reserve, and then we have uh, hybrid syringe slash broadsword hand you can see they have that syringe-like taper at their end, and they're faceted across their top. The tourbillon, I'm going to get as close as I can here, is a flying tourbillon, which means there is no upper bridge to block your view of the tourbillon mechanism. Now, the Blancpain flying tourbillon was designed for them by Vincent Calabrese, so you have a little bit of AHCI independent horology cool in this watch. You'll also note that it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it is handsomely hand-finished. It is a one minute tourbillon, making one circuit per minute. Note that the entire top is mirror finished. And in addition to mirror finish, the edges of the tourbillon carriage, and you can see it well here, are mirror beveled. So the finishing here is of the highest grade. The screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and chamfered circumference. All of this is automatic winding. I'm going to do my best to show you here. It does feature a screw fixed clasp. That is one more thing I should mention. The buckle here is fixed by 
a screw for absolute security, so I can't pop it off and pop it open, but you will be able to see the caliber 25 all the same. It is a good looking movement. Note the use of both fired blue and black polished screws. Cote de Genève across the winding bridge, and then you can see there's engine turning on the base plate, voluminous mirrored anglage on both the bridges and the fixture surrounding the tourbillon. There is a bridge-style double-winged structure that underpins the tourbillon, and you can see even the interiors of that surface have been beveled. Uh, the screws are very well done. The satination on the wheels is of the highest grade. You can see it on the wheels for the crown wheel, the ratchet wheel, the drive system for the tourbillon, and the reduction system for the winding assembly. You'll also appreciate that there is longitudinal satination across the rotor and black polishing on the screw fixed plaques that remind you you are looking at a 50 fathoms. 29 joules, five position adjusted, which is the chronometer standard, 5X adjustment. It is a remarkably charismatic and beautiful movement in a watch to match. Please reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and price details. And we are back with the 50 Fathoms Tourbillon, unidirectional rotating bezel, a timing instrument for diving, and you can see fully loomed, it is quite simply spectacular at night.